Welcome back. Another day, another vlog. We're back. Hope you had a Merry Christmas uh, and uh, all your family and friends got a chance to get together and catch up. It, uh, I'd say I enjoyed my week off, but it's been non-stop. Uh, packing the house, getting the stuff out of attic boxes, getting it all set, trying to sort out all the rigmarole with moving. If you've ever moved a house, You'll completely understand my pain. <laughs> it uh, is never fun. It's a million things going through your head. Chucking Christmas, trying to catch up with family, friends. Rally's over, so that was good. We got a good catch up. We got to see my little buddy Jack. He had a ball over Christmas. Uh, a three-year-old at a Christmas tree is probably one of the best things you can get, uh, whether they're your child or family or friends child it, uh, it's always good to see that smile and when the little eyes light up with a present and something exciting comes out of the wrapping for them so it's a that was good it's a special that's uh, I think my biggest part of the enjoyment for Christmas is we're seeing little Jack uh, get some amazing gifts from some amazing people in his life so that's always very nice of them to do that for him and yeah great to see he had so much fun so that was pretty cool for me so as a dad it's um I think the first couple of years, they're just sort of still babies and don't really get it. When they start getting excited about Santa and they sort of start to understand the little bits and pieces, uh, yeah, pretty darn cool and a lot of fun. So you've got to sort of suck it up too, I guess, and enjoy it while it lasts before it gets too old and then just goes, oh, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, very, very cool. I uh, had a ball with my little buddy. But, yeah, just busy, busy. Um, I'm glad I had the week off. There's no way I could have done the show. Um, Basically, the first thing I had to do is dismantle the shed, so I've got nowhere to even film at home. So I've got to work out next break because we're going to do the final move out, and then we'll be in a van. So I'll be on the road, so I've got to work out a bit of a solution in my head for that uh, little program and how I'm going to run it going forward. It's probably going to be a mobile one um, in different locations, which is not a bad thing. Something different for the channel, something for the show. But yeah, back on track, uh, ready to go into 2021 fully stocked, ready to go, and looking forward to some big things this year. So super, super excited. While I've been away for the week, we've picked up a heap of new subscribers, so thank you to those guys. I do appreciate you popping past. I um, hope you've all had a great Christmas and getting ready for the New Year's Eve tomorrow night for us. Now, I've got to work, so there's pretty much no New Year's Eve for me. That's part of the mining life. You don't get a chance to do that sort of fun stuff. You either get normally get one or the other. Yeah, a lot of times we'll miss both. Um, this year we were lucky enough to get an R&R &R was on Christmas, so that was pretty cool, I thought. So, um, yeah, you take the good with the bad. Normally we alternate. Um, most people alternate. And they'll sort of Some people will have Christmas off this year, then next year they'll work. And that's sort of like, I guess, the gentleman's agreement in mining. Um, that seems the, those gentleman's agreements are pretty much disappearing the more the companies take, take, take. Uh, and as more of, uh, well, too bad, we don't care if there's no one near the business now, we've got hollows and we'll take them. So that seems to be the new norm, uh, and that's the, the uh, companies have no one else but themselves to blame. So, yeah, all changing in that regards too. So I uh, hope you are uh, getting ready for a big New Year's Eve. Uh, if you're in one of those places where you're not locked down and you get to go out and celebrate, enjoy it, get some vent, offload all that 2020 crap we've had to put up with uh if you're unfortunately one of those poor uh people that are still in lockdown look i'm with you uh us mind side people are pretty much in lockdown our whole lives or have been for 12 years um yeah we pretty much can't drink most of the nights anyway you can have a couple of drinks and then that's it so it's not even worth it so uh i do feel for you i do have a sort of a i guess an inkling of an understanding um and again those people that are suffering through covid uh <laughs> try and stay strong as much as you can we had a good friend of a family that lives in america uh yeah their mum passed away from it uh so yeah just terrible news for us um and for uh, yeah it's for our friends so we definitely feel for those guys and uh all you people out there that have lost people this year in 2020 and use people uh that have people that are currently sick from this dreaded thing uh look hearts and prayers out to you uh, look, hopefully it can all sort of, we can find a solution to this thing in the new year and we can get sort of back on track to being an enjoyable life, I guess, as, as much as we can. 
life doesn't get any easier. It's not supposed to be easy. It's never been easy, no matter who you are, or whatever level you are. There's just different different levels of hardship and different way, different things you have to deal with. So, unfortunately, this is one of those ones that affects everyone: rich, poor, broke, homeless, sheltered, whatever you are. You you can't escape this one. So, it uh, yeah, just one of those sad things. So we've got a lot to look forward to 2021. I'm excited about the year. Uh, I. I'm really positive. I've got a good feeling. 2021 is a year. This channel is going to break a thousand subscribers. Uh, we're nearly nearly at 330, which I'm excited. Nice organic growth, just steady. We're steadily starting to climb up. Uh, thanks to you guys. Um, if you're recommending me, well, that's I do appreciate it. And hopefully, I'm bringing you some good information and some fun stuff and some beautiful photos of WA, soon to be Queensland, and uh, some even bigger, better stuff. In uh, January, because we're doing, as I said, we'll be doing Esperance in Albany. If you have a look at up uh, that on Google Maps, you'll see some of the most beautiful, pristine beaches, uh, national parks, and just amazing places on the planet uh, that you can imagine. So some summer fun coming for you guys that are feeling the cold up in the northern hemisphere that ain't getting snowed in. Well, hopefully I can bring you a little bit of sun and a little bit of sunshine to you cold day where you sit in front of the fire kick back and relax and uh, i guess uh, be a bit envious of uh, me being on the beach while i'm envious of these guys that have got snow which i've never seen in person so one day i'll get there so that's pretty much a bit of an update for the where we are with the channel uh we did get some we did get some new presents we have our new little mini two i didn't do an unboxing uh look, i just didn't have time to stuff around so I had to pack it all to get it up here, but we've got our new little Mini 2 ready to go. So that's cool. Excited about that. That's the 4K, uh, all the new upgrades and everything. So super excited about that. Um, what else have we got? Uh, we've got some new cases. So just some cases, good stuff, because I'm traveling all the time. I've got a, one, a nomadic Peter McKinnon case. Um, it's pretty good. I'm doing all my batteries and stuff in there, so that's quite handy. And I've got a Moment one as well. Oh, should have grabbed this out earlier. A nice little moment one, which I'm doing all my uh, loom cubes uh, and three-legged thing extensions and stuff like that. So some really cool stuff at the moment. So very good storage. Uh, both of them really good through moment. This moment one was a bit of a bargain. And even that Peter McKinney one's a nice deep one. So you get like a normal rectangular style and a deeper one. Um, Going to be testing them out. The good thing with this uh, Peter McKinnon one that I found on the way up on the flight up, M50, even with my UU rig uh, cage on it, fit inside here, fully protected. So lid shut in my in my case, not in my camera bag. I was able to put this in the luggage, fully protected, knowing that I'm safe as a house. So that was pretty darn cool, knowing the M50 can slide straight into that and still some room for batteries and my lens adapter and stuff. So very cool, very nice. Other than that, we'll play with some more of that stuff. And the only other thing, I didn't bring my three-legged three thing, uh, Albert, up this time. I've got me little newer one that I'm going to be leaving here at work. And I've got a new little head, my three-legged thing, a new little switch head uh, got on their sales. So that was pretty cool. Um, nice little bargain. Do love their uh, ball heads. Nice little light carbon fiber one. Uh, super, super light. If it, uh, it's only a cheap one, but it's good for out here in the bush, I can just chuck it in the backpack a little bit lighter for hot, the big, big nasty hikes. Uh, I still get the quality of the three-legged thing as the head for the camera, so that's the important stuff. Um, and yeah, look, ready to go, so that's good. That leaves me with my good, uh, my beautiful Albert at home for when I do my traveling, which I'm gonna do on a heap of with a holiday. I can swing him around and I know I've got the best thing to do it with all my Astro and stuff coming up. I did have to get some other gear. I've got a, the new lens for the R. The RP is uh, here, and I've got the 224 to 105, and look, it's looking really good. Super excited about that. It's a great range. The autofocus with it, tickety boo, uh, super, super fast. So, look. Lots of fun things coming in 2021. Um, we've got some good bargains through the Black Friday sales and uh, a lot of pre-planning. As I said to you, I think earlier on, know what you need, 
before the sales. So around August, September, you need to start getting a plan together. I had that plan of what I needed to get to fill the holes. And then I just waited, checked prices, had a good idea, had them all saved and locked and loaded and waited for the right price come along. And I was able to save myself enough so that I could get other things that I needed. So really good, I had a really good shopping year, I guess, if that's a, if that's a thing. <laughs> A bit weird to say, but yeah, it was. And it's worked out really, really well. So super excited about that sort of stuff and a lot to come. Can't wait to do some more shooting with the RP. And I've even got an adapter so I can get my beautiful eight blade tack, Super Takamar on there and do some magic with that. So I'm pretty excited about how that's gonna work out. So very, very cool. Rightio, over to tech news. Now, I'm sort of, Christmas, as I said, is a little bit slow. There's a lot of been a lot of review videos, a lot of what tech has been good this year and all that. We've gone through all that as, as I've gone. I'm not really going to do it like, a, uh, I guess, a tech year or that. I really want to just go straight into 2021, head on and keep going. I've got some videos to do. I've got to get out for this weekend. I've got to edit that over the, to not, the next couple of nights and try and get that out for the weekend for you. As I said, I've had the whole week off, so I've got to start fresh tonight and get into it. So maybe a Saturday or a Sunday, forgive me if I am, but I've got to get in and get it started, but it should be all good. So I'm going to get pretty much go, keep going what I'm doing, go straight in. I probably won't do any sort of, as I said, no sort of tech, what's the best and all that. I thought about it and thought, uh, you know what, what I'm doing now with the gear I've got, that's the best I've got. And I just want to keep exploring that and try and get you the best info and show you as much beauty as I can before I leave WA and then start a new adventure in Queensland. So. Yeah, there wasn't a real lot of massive things happened over the week. We do have a little bit of stuff I want to run through, um, but you know, sort of groundbreaking, crazy stuff. There seems to be a lot of 2020 in review. We're starting to get all those New Year videos come through that normally happen. Um, so yeah, they're, they're pretty good to go. Have a good reflection on, see what other people are thinking about. Um, and look, I'm pretty excited. So yeah, very, very interesting week. But not massively crazy week, but uh, let's get into the news. Now, from Canon Rumors, uh, a little bit of a patent. I'll try and get the photo up on the thumbnail for you. I'm a bit of a uh, vlogging camera style camera from uh, Canon. Now, it's I guess it's hard to look. It's like the DJI Osmo 4, which I got back to. I got that back, so that's all fixed. It was a dodgy circuit board in it. They uh, DJI fixed it, no charge. Beautiful, no freight, didn't have to pay anything. So thank you DJI for the great customer service. That's always good to know. Uh, if we've got a problem that they'll fix it straight away and I don't have to come out of pocket to get anything repaired. So that was pretty cool. Another good reason to get that refresh uh, for 18 bucks, I think it cost me for the OM4. Um, uh, I'm covered, so very, very cool. Um, so yeah, this Canon one, the paint looks like it's basically a handheld unit. And it's a little bit different in regards to, it's got like an interchangeable lens head. It's got a square screen. You'll see that in the thumbnail. And it's almost as if like you could change normal EF lenses or RF lenses on this unit. Doesn't look gimbly, so it, I'm not sure what the stabilization is gonna be like in it. But it's sort of, I guess, if you can imagine what I'm thinking, like a, a, just a handle with control of it so you can shoot where you wanna shoot. But with just the lens screws onto this little V arm sort of thing, so a little bit different. I'm uh, not sure how they'll go without stabilization because I guess that's the whole reason if you're going to do it. Um, maybe they've got a different approach and how they, they can have, they can get to that. So it looks pretty interesting. Um, whether it's going to come or not, there's a lot of things on the market, especially with how good the iPhone 12 is uh, on the gimbal nowadays. Uh, they're like the phones are getting super super good. Uh, and they're now coming up to that action cam uh, sort of area. All they need and we need in the 2021 phones is a screen on the back of the iPhone. You put a screen on the back of that iPhone, Apple, you will smash the action market completely to pieces. Uh, even Samsung, if they do that, they, if they're smart, there's no reason they shouldn't. I think that's really where they need to go. So if they can get that done, that will be a big, big plus. Now, um, there's a new lens coming out now for a while, the RF 100mm 2.8 L series image stabilizer macro lens. It's been talked about. The new patents have leaked two different styles or two different uh, variations. So it looks like that's not far away. So 
maybe the first quarter of 2021, we'll see that new um, RF macro lens, 100 mil. So that'll be super good for those guys out there with the macros. Uh, be really cool for like your R5 with that focus and on those small objects, how cool that's going to be uh, with the beautiful new features of the R5s and R6s. So look, that's something to look forward for you guys that do your macro shooting. Uh, definitely keep an eye on that. I'd say definitely 2021 we'll be seeing that one. And the last one that just came out, I think yesterday, uh, from Jap leaked actually from Canon Japan, a new 8K Cine camera. So much like the C200, C300 range we've currently got, there's a new range of 8K uh, Cine cameras coming. Now, there's probably going to be two models, Canon Rumors saying, and both 8K. Other features will come as they go, but look, they've featured there is the uh, video footage of one, and I'll get the, you'll see that picture on the thumbnail of, of the one they did leak. Uh, but that looks pretty cool. 8K is here, it's happening. Uh, it's no longer just a if or you can, it's well, it's here. This is the new 6K or 4K or whatever is now 8K is here. So, look, 4K, I guess, will steadily become the standard. So 1080, I guess, will slowly start to fade away as, I guess, high definition did and stuff like that. Um, and we're going to you now move into 4K as a base and go down, which means bloody storage is going to be a problem, <laughs> which it always is. And it's the biggest problem with 4K. It's why I probably don't use it as much because uh, it's, it's all good to shoot and upload it. And that's, that's not a problem. But when you're going to back everything up in 4K at 32 gig, 20 to 30 gig a file for a daily show, uh, it's just insane to keep all that. You need a Linus Tech Tips friggin' server of one teraflop or something craziness to sort of store just your normal stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure the, the storage will get cheaper too. And uh, it's just not there right yet. So I don't really want to sort of leap into that 4K. Hopefully the 1080 is still doing well for you, and I think it still does a great job. And when it's going onto YouTube anyway, it I think 1080 is still upscaled to 4K is still really a good, really good picture. So all depends on that good lens, and lucky you got the Sigma on here, so that's pretty cool. Now Apple, uh, some a lot of rumors this week about Apple Car, uh, electric car from Apple. Look, there's rumors it's coming soon, it's coming later. It's uh, there's rumors from 2022 to 25 to 28 uh, years. Uh, obviously, it's going to be Apple. It's going to be a ridiculous price. Uh, now, the biggest thing that I think Lou later on from um, Box Therapy was talking about on his Lou later show was the fact that their AI has not really hit the mark uh, with Siri and the uh, Maps app has never really found the mark. It's always Google sort of being the better place. That's where Tesla sort of leads with that AI and technology and battery tech. Apple's got a long way to catch up. It does have a lot of advantages up its sleeve. It does have a trillion dollar company to back itself up, but it's uh, definitely a little way away. I think 2022, unless they're just gonna pull a miracle out of the hat, uh, I think that's a little too early. So I think the 25 to 28 is probably a little bit more realistic. Uh, and even then, I think the 20, 25, uh, is going to be sort of early stages, maybe where Tesla is now, because I guess that tech is known, so they could sort of reverse engineer a lot of stuff from a Tesla and get that knowledge. Um, but I still think 25, but you've got a lot of processes, you've got to work out charging, where you're going to get batteries, you've got to build factories. That's, that's like years. You can't speed up that process into months. That takes a fair amount of time. So... To do it in two years, and there's not a car factory for Apple at the moment, so there's no no way that's not going to go unnoticed. So it has to be at least 25, I would imagine, and that's if they're getting ready to sort of start ramping up into a production sort of a manner and a factory manner now. So it does take a bit of time, unfortunately. They are big things. They take big sheds. Big sheds show up on satellites. There's no way you can hide that in a back pocket. Uh, yeah, so I think a little bit off for that, but yeah, you can imagine how expensive they are. Uh, headphones are a grand. It's going to be 100,000, 200,000 US for an Apple car. That's about 4.5 billion Australian dollars. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have to worry about it. I don't think I'll be getting one. <laughs> That'll be well out of the price range, even maybe 10 years down the track. 
Anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, now, Apple AirPods Max, uh, caviar. You would have seen caviar. Um, done a heap of high premium luxury uh, phone devices, the gold, the jewels, and all that. You know, 50 grand, 10 grand, ridiculous US dollar sort of categories um, for these phones. All those amazing things for the luxury market. They're, they're limited, limited edition. There's only you know a few items of these around. Well, they've come out and got the new Apple AirPods Max. There's only one of one in the white, one of one in the black. So only two of these are going to exist on the planet. Uh, alligator skin leather, the best of the best leather, and 24 karat gold plated. So nothing but the best here for these from Caviar. Price, holy bundy, 108,000 US dollars. Holy crap. That's just insanity. Um, this is for the billionaire, the millionaire that wants to be the primo, who wants to get on the TV shows and wants to be on the front of the magazine with the gold-plated headphones at the basketball match, uh, the rapper. It's going to be a rapper or a basketball or I've got a funny feeling um, that's going to have, have one of these one or one of these two or a Russian Oglak. They're going to want to be seen. Uh, you don't buy 110000 US dollars, which is... Roughly 200,000 Australian dollar headphones and not be in front of the camera somewhere for them to be seen. So pretty darn wild. Uh, look, it's just success at a success. Uh, it's the upper echelon of craziness. But uh, if you if 100 grand is pocket change for you, and there's a, unfortunately there's a lot of people like that, uh, look, good on you. Do it. That's why you earn the money. So you can do what you want with it, and this is your choice. But yeah, pretty wild. Caviar just pushing the limits always. So pretty funny. We thought a thousand bucks was expensive for a set. Uh, just blows it out the water. So it all depends on how you look at things, I guess, isn't it? That's the way with everything in life. So pretty funny. Now, uh, new rumors out from one of the manufacturers. Uh, a report uh, from one of the magazines. I can't remember the name of the magazine. My apologies. Or the online uh, guys, but GIS they make screens, touch screen, touchpad screens. Uh, is currently making a mini LED screen, and looks like it's for the Apple iPad 12.9 Pro, which will be coming out first quarter of next year. They're saying they're getting there ready. They've got all the screens ready, what they need for that production. Uh, so it looks like the 12.9, and probably only the 12.9, much like the iPhone Max, only got the extra camera and extra sensor. Looks like the big boy uh, is the one that's going to get the new mini LED technology. Uh, there are rumors about Apple going to OLED screens, but sort of that's a would be a bit of a backward step. Mini LED is supposed to have all the features of an OLED without the bad side effects, so the blotchiness and all that stuff and the burning and all that thing. So look, this is a device that uh, this screen should be something that can last a long time and have that quality quality effect and quality colors and everything for, I guess, the life of the product. So the 12.9 Pro, if you're looking at getting an iPad, maybe start thinking, oh, maybe if we can hold off for a couple of months, uh, do with what you got with what you got at the moment, um, and then sort of wait to upgrade then. So it looks like that, and that should be pretty good tech. The mini LED is definitely the better way to go. So that shouldn't be far off. Probably... Might hear a little bit more about it at CES or see something that's coming up in January too. So a lot to happen through that CES tech range, which is all online this year. So that'll be interesting. Now, Samsung, the S21, we did talk about that last week, about that's coming out. Well, look, there's all in the US shop alone, not Australia, I'll talk a little bit about that, but in the US stores, there is a pre-order lineup, I guess. So you can sort of pre-order before it goes on sale for pre-order that makes any sense um, now it does have some good deals if you do that um, and that's if you've got say an iPhone 12 or the current s20 or something like that you can get up to 700 bucks off if you commit to buy it once it releases uh, this now this pre-order is not a guarantee it just gets you in the line to get one of the first ones so you can get up to 700 bucks off there's also 50 bucks off accessories as well if you buy through their store if you sign up to this pre-order, pre-order, or whatever that means, but <laughs> it's a little bit weird to understand it. I think I've got that right. I think it's like a dual pre-order. It's like in Ocean's Eleven when he goes, it's like the 
opening, a soft opening. It's a they have an opening before the grand opening. I think that's sort of what I think they've used a bit of Ocean's Eleven technology on us. <laughs> um, now, nothing on Australia. There's no mention on the Australian stores about this pre-order, so we can't pre-order. Get on this little bandwagon. But there is a mention on January the 7th uh, for some sort of big release for 2021 and what's happening in 2021. So I'm assuming that means that that's when we'll start finding about we'll get the dates for the uh, S21 to be released and what it's going to cost and all that sort of guff. And if we're going to get any deals. I doubt we'll get any deals because our market's just a bit small. As per normal with Australia. Um, bit of a shame, not much we can do about it. And that's about it. First show back. Uh, look, busy, busy week. Uh, lots more to do this week. I've got to work out where I'm going to shoot this week. I can't wait to get out and shoot some more of the RP. I've got to get out and shoot with the new Mini 2 drone. That Super excited about that. And I've got to get a video out to you as well. So a lot happening. A little bit of rain around the next couple of days. So hopefully we can get some more rain. Need a bit of that. And good to have you back. Good to be back. And thanks for stopping by. So we'll be coming this way. That way, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.